Hi, this is Debbie. Welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. And you can see a few things are going on over here in my growing room. We are getting ready to start planting some seeds. I've actually already planted some. And this is the basil that I grew through the winter. And this is what it looked like the entire winter. And in fact, if you can see right here, we did cut off a few different times some basil to use in a caprese recipe and also with salads and stuff like that so we've actually got a few of them here with little cut tops because we have continued harvesting from them and when you cut them they actually continue to bush out see these were two little um little starts that were about oh that big when i first cut this top off and now you can see it's making three different tops, maybe even four in there. Same thing with this one and the same thing with these. We do have a couple in there that are still pretty short. You can see here, we haven't harvested anything off of those because they just remained really small the whole time, but they will come out. And I will actually let these go to seed when spring arrives, which in Cheyenne, Wyoming may not be until the first week of June, sometimes later. Yeah, it goes that long for winter here. Then we will put this outside and um, it will likely go to seed. And as you can see, my fuchsia that had died back quite a bit still has greenery on it. It's actually got a bloom coming up on it right here. You can see right there. This is the oldest part of that fuchsia plant. You can see a little new growth right in there. If it focuses in, you can see the little greenery in there. So the little joints are all having little green leaves come out on them sometimes this happens with fuchsia through the winter time um, when you bring it inside but these over here which was a cutting off of that plants have remained beautiful you can see the nice big leaves we've got some blooms here aren't those beautiful to see in the winter and right there as well and they're even making fruit and it's draping all the way down as you can see so this is what the basil looks like on the other side i went ahead and got a planter for this pot i went ahead and put it in the planter just because i wanted to have the basil get a little bit more bushy and it's just absolutely gorgeous so it has no problem growing inside in the winter time as long as you're in a south facing window you could probably even put them in another window and they would still be okay maybe just not as big and bushy but these are growing very well inside and I do have one of the um, I forget what these things are called but it just it keeps water going into the roots at all times but I still water even though that's in there all the time because this really did dry out yesterday um, completely so I had to go ahead and water that um, because basil really likes to have a little bit of surface moisture as well so we have that going on there and um, I had taken some video previously of the Christmas cactus that I had that I was trying to get started. And as you can see, it did start. I've got roots growing on it. It's actually got some roots growing on some of the other joints, um, looking quite pretty and will probably be, be, um, be put in a um, separate pot very soon because this was just like a starting bed for it. Uh, my mint is coming back out. It looks pretty terrible. Through the winter, it looks like this for me, um, likely just because of the way Cheyenne is, but you can see the mint is still green in certain areas, and my peppermint as well is coming back out. You can see all those little buds in there, and I'll probably transplant this and loosen up the soil quite a bit. And this was my older mint, and that one is coming back out again. You can see all the little nodules in there, and I just kept the runners on and just wrapped them around. So those are going very well. And this was my other fuchsia cutting that I had taken. We've got some brown in there, but this is from the older leaves because it actually starts to, um, this portion of the plants starts kind of getting naked, they call it, um, towards the root base. And then the upper part stays green. So we've got Lots of that going on here, lots of greenery. This has actually gotten quite tall. And I'll be glad to get this outside um, when the spring comes because it should be draping down and not going up like that. 
Um, it's not going to hurt it. It will drape down eventually and you can see it did have blooms on it and those have finally died back and it'll, um, there's probably some buds up there that I just can't see uh, and it'll start blooming again pretty soon. And I did go ahead, as I said, and start some seeds. I've got some artichoke seeds in here and I just used um, some old potting mix that I had in some of my old pots that you remember from previous videos throughout the last spring and summer. So I just went ahead and dumped that into this and then put in some leafy green um, organic fertilizer into this and mix it in really well, wet it down, and then go ahead and plant the seeds. Artichoke seeds go down about half an inch um, up to an inch. So went ahead and got those planted in there. I'm going to have six hopefully that will come up and uh, that'll be six artichokes to plant. And I did finally go ahead and get my garlic out. Now I should have had planted my garlic back in the fall, but I had a bit of a tough time just kind of getting the motivation to be honest. And um, finally got my garlic planted out. If it doesn't do anything by late summer, early fall, then I will let it go ahead and overwinter again. So it should be fine there. And uh, I do have this package of clearance daffodils I still haven't planted yet because I have a plan for those. And um, these will actually grow very well in about this time. I'm going to start putting these into pots because I actually want to see the daffodils go into pots, I think. Because these have an assortment of really pretty colors. And there's only 10 bulbs in there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and plant these in one of my larger um, garden containers. So I wanna really see those. My, that was one of my dad's favorite um, plants. It was actually his favorite plant to see in the spring. And uh, I wanna honor him by putting that in one of my larger containers and watching those bloom because he always said they looked like they had happy faces. Um, and my dad passed away in 2015. So I wanna do a little something for him. And these were my paper whites. I had mentioned that I had gotten some paper whites and um, got those. They were clearance paper whites and they did bloom. These are actually dried up now. Um, they did bloom and uh, have gone. And these are kind of getting a little bit yellowed now, so I'll more than likely will just cut these off. And I may transplant these outside somewhere because I, I like them, but the greenery is pretty large. <laughs> and this was the parsley that I had planted and had overwintered in the house and um, it'll be happy to get back outside too eventually. It's kind of getting a little bit yellow on some of the leaves but um, like I said in a previous video I just pinch those off. No worries about it and they come right back out. So that'll look good pretty soon and I've got a couple of little mandarin oranges trees growing in there and they're actually kind of liking a little bit of the shading as you can see so um, they've gotten a little bit bigger. And I'll get those separated as soon as I feel like that they've gotten pretty strong and get those separated into two separate pots. Lemon tree is growing really good. I'll show you that in just a moment. This is the lavender that I had planted. Um, I don't remember if I actually got this on video or not, but I had planted some lavender seed. These are the old lavender seeds that I had and um, went ahead and planted that. And as you can see, they are up. In fact, they're getting some of their second, third leaves on them. And I'll probably separate those out throughout the pot pretty soon. Um, lavender seeds, they're iffy. Not all of them come up. And I had filled the pot full. And I only ended up with one, two, three, four plants that made it. A whole bunch of them did come up. But only four of them ended up making it. So I'll get those separated out when they look a little bit stronger and get those put in the pot just in a different orientation so that way they can spread and grow the way they want to and this is the christmas cactus that that piece had broken off of still have a bloom kind of hanging on there um in a couple places we'll clean that off pretty soon it's still acting like it still wants to bloom so i'm gonna leave it as it is and this is the amaryllis the new one that i had picked up that was clearance and it is getting some leaves out there, so I'll let that do that through the spring. And then I will trim those back and it will bloom again. And same thing with this amaryllis up here, the old one that I have. It did bloom again and it has now gone. And now these are the big leaves that come up on it. 
and I'll trim those back more towards the end of spring and let it bloom again. So those are looking great. And you can see here where I planted the garlic and as well as I did plant some shallots in here because um, I had some extra bulbs left over from the last season. And went ahead and got those planted in. So that will be in this section. I'm not going to use this section. Last year it was used for potatoes, but I'm not going to use this section for potatoes um, this season. I'll just be putting the potatoes through here and then using the entire rest of this for corn and squash. And I did clean out the two garden beds that I have that are galvanized steel. I did go ahead and plant some lettuce as you see right here because that is a more of a cold hardy plant so we'll see if it comes out and does anything. Um, I did have the oregano go ahead and overwinter and I've been just keeping leaves piled on top of it and if it gets cold enough again I will go ahead and put the leaves back on it. I just wanted to check and make sure. We do have a lot of leaves out here that we have to get cleaned out and this is the other galvanized steel and I did plant some radishes in here so these those are definitely cold hardy and we should have some radishes here in about oh it takes a little bit longer when it's colder so probably in about four weeks five weeks we will be harvesting some radishes out of here I did have some spinach over winter in this pot and I just went ahead and um, watered it really well and I'll cover it back up if it needs to and we had some borage come out too so i'm not sure the borage will make it but my strawberries have definitely overwintered you can see them popping in there with green all of the crowns are still green um, in both pots as well as in the kitty pool if you remember the converted kitty pool that has strawberries in it and um, anyway they will come back and we will have strawberries spring and summer this upcoming season Anyway, that's what we're getting started on here. It'll be really gearing up for more seed starting here in a few weeks. Um, tomatoes and things like that, I wanna give it another two to three weeks before I start the seeds on those because I don't want to have them too spindly before they get transplanted outside in late May, um, early June. So anyway, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you wanna see notices on new videos as they come out and we will see you in the next one.